Good morning. Welcome to a post Potter world. Okay, that might be a little over dramatic even for me. But yeah, I apologize for shaky cam, but it is eight forty in the morning. The day after the midnight release of Harry Potter. And holy crap, I'm tired. I only got like three and a half hours of sleep, so I was supposed to be at work at nine, but I did some really crappy driving. And by crappy driving, I mean I was really reckless and I drove really fast and I broke several traffic laws. Did really crappy driving and now I am running late. I missed my train by like, not even ten seconds, five seconds. I saw it. It was, it was in the station. It, it was, it was pulling, I was pulling up to it. I watched it pull up. It was right there. Do you know how frustrating this is? so frustrating. But let's get to the important thing at hand. So I wait for my bagel to toast. Holy crap, Harry Potter. I wish I could have gotten you footage last night of my reaction to the film. I believe it was something similar to this. <laughs> I don't think I've ever cried so much about one movie. I, I pretty much cried the whole time. I cried when they said, your feature presentation is coming, and then they started, like, before the, before the movie had even started, I was so excited and nervous and upset about the movie starting that I started crying. But you guys are Harry Potter fans. You know all the parts that probably made me cry, beginning, middle, and end through this film. But... Man, it was a fantastic movie. I was really happy with it. There are some things, like little tiny details, that I was like, man, why couldn't you put that in? But I understand it's a movie, and it only has so much budget, and it can only do so much with what it's given. But it was nice for one night to be a wizard, to sit in a theater full of people who really love Harry Potter and were pretty much as enthusiastic as I was. Some of them, not so much. Like, guy behind me, you're an asshole. That wasn't censored. I don't care. Why are you going to theater of Harry Potter people if you're going to be complaining the entire time? You went to a midnight premiere of Harry Potter. What did you think was going to happen? Screaming, yelling, singing, costumes, yeah, all those things. All those things happened. Yeah, don't be an idiot. Anyway, I met some really lovely people. The girls in front of us, we played trivia with them pretty much all night, and the girls to the side of us. I met a couple... Uh, four people, two of which were in costume, like hardcore, earlier that evening. There were people in costume all over the place. It was really nice. It was different than my Boston experience, which was more like mass chaos. But this was this was quieter, quieter chaos, and I really enjoyed it. And the phone's ringing. I'm not at my house. I'm at my dad's house. He doesn't know I'm here because I missed my train. But I believe in like 25 minutes or something. I have to stop and get some energy drink, girls. I'm gonna die. But, oh my goodness, I love you, Harry Potter. I love you so much, and it's been such an amazing ride, and I hope it never ends, and I don't think it ever will end, because, because the best stories we carry with us, and a very wise woman told me that Hogwarts would always be there to welcome me home.